Well, hey everybody, this is Robert and welcome to Outbreak News TV. In today's news brief, we're gonna take a look at Cryptosporidium outbreak in Victoria, Australia. And earlier this week, uh, the Victoria Department of Health uh, reissued a health advisory concerning the number of cryptosporidiosis or crypto cases in Victoria uh, that remains high after several months. In fact, there has been a significant increase in cryptosporidium cases in Victoria since the beginning of September 2023 with the highest weekly number of cases, 87, just reported last week. This year, in 2024, there have been 607 reported cases. This is more than a 600% increase over the 84 cases that were reported during the same period in 2023. Uh, many of the cases are linked to uh, public swimming pools. Now, cryptosporidium is, the parasite itself is very highly resistant to the levels of chlorine that are normally found in swimming pools. Outbreaks associated with pools occur when people attend a pool with a cryptosporidium infection. Swimmers become infected when they accidentally swallow pool water contaminated with the parasite. So who's at risk? Anybody can become infected. In Melbourne, Australia, which is in Victoria State, uh, the risk appears to be greatest for those exposed to swimming pools, such as young children who attend swimming lessons with other children and who are more likely to swallow pool water, or for those that are household contacts of the cases. Although most illness is mild and self-limiting, certain groups are more at risk for severe illness if infected, including younger children, pregnant women, and people with weakened immune systems. The most common symptoms of cryptosporidiosis are watery diarrhea and stomach cramps, which may last a few weeks. It can be spread to others both during the illness and up to two weeks after symptoms resolve. Other symptoms may include fever, nausea, vomiting, bloating, and a loss of appetite. Less commonly, cryptosporidiosis can present as pneumonia, uh, or pancreatitis. Some people who are infected may not show any symptoms at all. Transmission of the parasite occurs by the fecal oral route. Um, this can happen directly through eating contaminated food and water, or more commonly from person to person or animal to person. Outbreaks can be linked to sources such as contaminated drinking water, swimming pools, and petting infected animals. The typical incubation period is around 1 to 12 days, with an average of 7 days. Cases are infectious while they excrete the parasite. An infected person typically excretes cryptosporidium while symptomatic and up to 2 weeks after the diarrhea has stopped. For this reason, it is important that people with cryptosporidiosis do not swim for 14 days after the diarrhea ceases. Now, the Victoria Health Department offers the following recommendations uh, to prevent uh, the spread of cryptosporidiosis. One, do not swim if you have had cryptosporidiosis or diarrhea of unknown cause in the past 14 days. Shower and wash with soap, especially the bottom, before swimming. Avoid swallowing pool water. Wash hands with soap after going to the toilet changing a diaper, handling animals, or before preparing food or drink. Do not handle food or prepare food for others until at least 48 hours after diarrhea has stopped. Change diapers in a diaper change station only. Uh, keep children home from childcare or school um, until four, 24 hours free of symptoms. And if you think you or your child may have cryptosporidiosis, contact your doctor who will ask for a stool sample for testing. Uh, if the results of the test show that you have cryptosporidiosis, the doctor will be able to provide you with the advice and will also notify the Department of Health. Uh, 
so we'll be keeping an eye on the situation in Victoria. Uh, sounds like there's a lot of cases uh, in the Melbourne area uh, with cryptosporidiosis. Uh, a can be a quite a tricky parasite. And like I said, it's uh, very resistant to bleach. So uh, swimming pools are not immune uh, to this parasite. So if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Like the video, comment below share with your friends, and I'll see you next time on Outbreak News TV.